Hi Aries, welcome to your reading. This is gonna be for December, 2022. It is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. If this one doesn't resonate, definitely check out those other placements. It is a general reading, so it may not resonate for everyone who watches. So we're gonna get into your current energy, the near future, what you don't see coming, and then what spirit wants you to focus on this month. And then we'll take a look at what's going on for you and your person or the person that's on your mind. So if you are returning, welcome back. Thank you guys so much for all of your support. I so appreciate you. And if you are new, welcome. I do hope if you enjoy the messages, you'll consider subscribing, hitting that like button and the notifications so that you know when I upload more videos. All right, so let's see what's going on with you guys. All right, so your overall energy. Ooh, that's a good one right off the bat. The Wheel of Fortune, things are changing. Boy, are you going to see a big big significant shift in your experience in the month of December. This is good luck. Um, to me, I feel like for some of you, this could be unexpected money coming in. Uh, that just came up as a message. It just seems like things are finally starting to look like they're going the way that you had hoped they were going to go. So in the current energy, we have the star. Amazing. A lot of healing. A lot of wishes coming true. I think you're finally releasing something from the past, especially something that had been possibly holding you back emotionally and realizing that forward movement is the only way to go. It's a lot of release. That's what the healing is. It's releasing things in the past where she's pouring this out and then pouring into the things that are now coming into her experience. So there's a lot of good change. Under the star, we have the strength in reverse because you're recognizing now how much this has taken out of you. I think you've already known that this has taken a lot out of you and you may still feel just a little bit tired in your current energy, but healing work is exhausting. So for those of you that are getting through this, I give you a huge, huge pat on the back because it, obviously it hasn't been easy. The four of pentacles, this is good because it feels like things that you had been holding on to that were wearing you down, is part of what you're releasing. And that's why this Wheel of Fortune is showing up because it's helping you get past anything that had been holding you back. So it's, it's a really strong, powerful change. Now the Seven of Swords, great in the future. Six of Pentacles. So in the past, where you had dealt with people who may have seemed like they didn't have your best interest, uh, definitely were, were taking a lot from you. You recognize who you can give to and who you can't, regardless of who it is. It's just a message of you recognize these manipulative behaviors. You notice when people are not telling the truth. And you've also built up enough strength that even if it's a, a loved one that's doing something, it doesn't matter. It still feels manipulative when it's happening. So you're going from the Seven of Swords to the Six of Pentacles, lots of balance, to the Six of Swords, which means that you're getting to the other side of these challenges. So mentally, you probably will be feeling a lot better in the near future because something's being cleared and healed. So what you don't see coming, the Hierophant in reverse with a Death card. So for those of you that have been in relationships in the past, your idea of what that should look like may be changing because the Death is right below that. So your belief system, old belief systems, maybe you had more of a religious belief and now you're shifting more into just open spirituality. For some of you, it's about higher levels of commitment. Maybe you've decided that I don't necessarily need to be committed in the church legally or otherwise. Some of you, you may still have that idea, but something about it is definitely shifting and changing. And then we have the Ace of Pentacles because you realize that if something has not made its way into your experience, that that's okay. And that's where a lot of this change comes in. It's like a death and rebirth of your perspective around things that you're committed to in general. So although you may have had an idea, something should have looked this way, or maybe this opportunity was supposed to happen for me, and it really disappointed me. And this is where the healing comes in. And getting to a better place mentally as well, because something about how you see things is definitely changing. So what Spirit wants you to focus on, the hangman, taking a little bit of a break, 
um, allowing yourself to get whatever downloads that you need right now to help you focus on how to move forward. Um, the Knight of Pentacles, yeah, because right now it feels like movement is kind of not at a standstill necessarily. I don't feel a stuck energy. That's not what the hangman is about. It's about taking time to really gather all your thoughts and decide what your next step is going to be. With the Knight of Pentacles in reverse, it's like it's not time necessarily to move forward. Action isn't required. More of figuring things out and gathering your thoughts is what I feel this is about. And then the Six of Wands. And maybe in areas of your life where you felt hadn't been successful, they're saying they, they want you to pay attention to why something didn't move forward. Again, with the Page of Pentacles in reverse and the Knight of Pentacles, it's like opportunities that didn't come or action that wasn't taken, there's a reason for that. And if something wasn't successful, <coughs> you taking this time to recognize why that energy was what it was is going to help with uh, moving forward and choices that you have to make in the future. So your challenge is going to be the Queen of Wands. So reestablishing and the King of Wands. For those of you, uh, this could be about a relationship. Now, these two are actually looking at each other in the way that it came out. For those of you that are in a relationship and you know that there's a lot of passion, it could be challenging for you to open up at this point, especially if you're still healing from something in the past. This is just suggestions that I, I try not to give too many of. I just want to read the cards for you guys. Is healing something from the past is going to be so important before you step into something new because you don't want to project old energies onto something new. So here it's saying the challenge is to get back that feeling of, okay, I'm excited, I'm passionate, I want to move forward. And if you have met someone, maybe for some of you, you haven't yet because you've been single and working through this. And it's saying that you need to get back to a place where you feel really confident about moving forward in any kind of relationship. Now, it doesn't matter what gender you are. These are just two people that are looking at each other um, in a partnership. All right, so let's go ahead and clarify the Wheel of Fortune here. All right, so we've got the King of Swords. For some of you, this is having a really good situation in your work. You have a great boss, somebody who's clear, works with integrity, um, and that is a, a new experience for you. That's not for everybody. But this is somebody who I feel like is around you that's clear and to the point, and I think you appreciate that. And maybe in the past you hadn't dealt with people who were very upfront, and that's obviously the type of person I feel you are. So you appreciate people who are that way. And that's a real benefit to any experience. So that's a good thing that's changing. People that show up more clear and precise. So the Ace of Pentacles is showing up underneath the Wheel of Fortune. Remember over here, the Ace of Pentacles and what you don't see coming is closing out something that wasn't working. The Wheel of Fortune and the Ace of Pentacles is saying, yes, something new, a new beginning. Either it's a new beginning in your work situation. Doesn't have to necessarily mean that you're getting a you're making a change or getting a raise. It's just an opportunity um, to have things start moving forward. So let's say you've been at your job for a year and you've been busting your tail, but you hadn't gotten to the place that you wanted to. This is like it's opening up finally and you'll have this new opportunity and the support of someone that you work with. And then we have the King of Cups in reverse. I think you've dealt with people in the past that were very unemotional, very closed off that way. And maybe you prefer that because it's easier to work with somebody who's very direct. They don't necessarily have to bring emotion into it for you to have a, a really nice experience. And then we have temperance. So this time, temperance is Sagittarius. So we're in Sagittarius energy as of now. That means that this is just signifying for you that during the Sagittarius season, there's going to be a lot of luck and your patience is going to pay off. So with the star card and the strength in reverse, we have the five of pentacles. Yeah, there's, there's definitely a feeling of either you feel left out in the cold or somebody else does. But my guess is there's some issues around abandonment that you're working on. You're healing. And something that maybe you had held on to for a really long time and now you're finally giving it the energy that it needs and allowing it to come up and heal. 
the tower in reverse. Something big had to happen in order for you to get to this place. For all of you, it's gonna be something a little bit different, but it was something significant. And I think you realized finally, okay, it's gonna get this bad, I have to start shifting this because it starts with you. So in the near future with the Seven of Swords and the Six of Pentacles, judgment is in reverse. So maybe you haven't laid down the law completely with everyone in your life and made it very clear that you're not going to deal with any kind of manipulation, but you will get there. And if you don't speak on it, that's just as good as if you say something because you're going with the Six of Swords to a much better place. Uh, both sixes, by the way, so six could be significant. And today is the sixth of the month. So maybe you had a moment today that helped you realize, hey, I really need to pull back because I need my mental health to be good. I need to get to the other side of this difficult experience. And I'm even if I can't make solid decisions right now in this moment, or even in the near future, if I get tested a little bit, I'm still going to be in a better place than I was. Six of Pentacles with the Six of Swords. Yep, the Knight of Cups. Because you are putting the energy into the things that you love. Not that it's bad to love other people or to give to other people, but this is really focused on moving forward. Some of you in the near future, you're finally going to feel compelled to want to um, either look for love or be open to it. Let's say be open to it. I always say we don't have to look for it. If you are guided to dating sites or you're guided somewhere else, you're meant to meet someone and have an experience. So just, uh, it feels like you're just going to be more open to that and or in pursuit of things that bring you a lot of emotional joy. So the Hierophant in reverse with the death card, we have the Seven of Swords. So there's a lot of vulnerability that you've dealt with. Maybe you just feel like you don't need to be defensive anymore. You can just be really straightforward and say, even if my perspective is different around higher level commitments of any sort, I can still be open and vulnerable and protect myself at the same time. So there's a lot, of, a lot of shifting happening that you don't see coming. Something is definitely going to be changing within you. Death and the death card and the ace of pentacles. Yep, you're done. See, the ten of swords says you're done. This is an experience you don't want to deal with anymore. Maybe you're done with marriage. Maybe you're done with that kind of commitment to a certain religion. Um, or you just are done in general with those perspectives period you're putting something to an end and getting to a better place obviously with the six of swords okay so the hanged man and the knight of pentacles we have the two of swords so what spirit wants you to focus on is making concise decisions after you've taken this time um i don't think you're gonna have difficulty doing so you're gonna know what the next step it step is you're not confined you're not held back the knight of pentacles with the six of wands there you go the knight of swords so this is great once you get past this hangman energy where you've taken a step back, decisions are going to be much easier. You'll have a much clearer head with the Knight of Swords. Um, this is knowing exactly what you desire and going for it without any apologies. Any apologies. Not worrying so much about what may not have been successful in the past and just thinking clearly and moving forward, period. All right, so with your challenge, we have the Queen of Wands and the King of Wands. The Ten of Wands. So your challenge is to get to the other side of, and this is good because it is an ending. There's an ending to something difficult. So whether it be a relationship for some of you, you've decided this is it, or you've worked so hard and the challenge has been to get to a place of understanding. For those of you in partnerships, it's been a lot of work and you're willing to put in the effort because you still have a tremendous amount of passion for someone. Doesn't mean it's not a challenge. It's part of the challenge. But it's also for you to get to the other side of it and work through it. So that's just a side note um, for those of you that are currently in a relationship. For others of you that are single, yes, it may have been a lot of work for you to get to this place where you feel confident again to put yourself out there. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and clear these. And we will get into the person that's on your mind. So think about them for just a moment. Okay, just the way I picked up the cards, the King of Wands is there. So somebody definitely either coming into your life, because it could be predictive energy, 
or someone that you've been dealing with is very passionate about you, there's no question that they can go deep. And you may know that. So for those of you that want to salvage something and it's been quite a challenge, I think you're going to get to the other side of it. Things are going to get a lot easier. And for those of you that are single, there'll be somebody that shows up in your life that does exactly that. They know how to connect on a very deep level, very intimate, not physically, just they have the ability to connect on an intimate level. All right, so let's see what's going on with you and your person. Okay, so we have the star card. So your person's also going through some healing. For those of you in the partnership, they're trying to heal past um, either a difficult breakup or maybe they had somebody in the past that they had broken away from, a divorce, something difficult, and they're healing as well. The Knight of Cups, maybe they're not taking as much action emotionally. Now, could this have been with you? It could have been if you're just thinking about this person. I don't want to go into too many different scenarios. I'm just going to say that for this reading, this is somebody who's healing from something in the past that was not successful. The Ace of Swords, they ha they don't have a lot of clarity about why things have happened. Maybe you're a lot more open and you have a better understanding for this experience, and they may not. But I do believe that they're focused on the future. So if for some reason you feel like they might be still connected to something else from their past, they're healing from it. So I think they're wanting to pour their energy and emotions into you. So your energy is the fool, great, willing to take a chance. The Knight of Wands, maybe you don't want to express yourself too much right away. Or even if you've been with a person for a long time, you could have pulled back your energy just a bit out of fear that maybe they need to do what they need to do first. And you don't want to be the first one to like take, make the, not that you don't want to make the effort, that you don't want to be the one to push is what I feel. And the Six of Cups. Some of you, I think you are hoping for an apology. This is definitely nostalgia. So you could have some nostalgia about this person, the relationship, um, the, the effort that you've put into it. But I think most of you, it's you're hoping for an apology, needing one. All right. So we have finances and career. Financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. It could be for your person because of a past situation. Love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive, of course. And then chemistry. There is a strong magnetic attraction here. I feel that. Let your friends help you. Ask for and accept support from others. Let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. They had me look. So true love. This is the romance of a lifetime. You probably already know that or feel that. Let's see what we get from the lover's oracle. Okay, this card's standing out to me. Reflection, give each other some space at the moment, trust and have faith that all will work out for the best. Perfect message for this. Sacred union, honor and treasure your relationship for it is truly sacred. And then we have twin flames. Many of you could feel like you are in this twin flame connection. It would be a healthy one. If it's not healthy, then that's not something obviously that you wanna be in. Most twin flame connections are about triggering wounds. Manifesting miracles. Your dream is soon to become reality. Trust your heart and continue to follow its guidance. Amazing. I love that. All right. So let's get a couple of cards from the wisdom of the oracle and see what's next. I see regeneration. So some of you, you really, this month is going to be pivotal to close out the year for you. Let's see. We've got time to go. Okay, so leaving that stuff behind, you know it's time to release it and let go. You could be 45, born on the 4th, the 5th, or the 9th of the month, and then the fork in the road. So you always have to ask yourself, which way feels right? You could be born on the 13th, the 13th of December could be significant. You could be born on the 1st, the 3rd, or the 4th as well. Just know when you get to this place, you've probably already been there a million times, and you I think now you're going to be following your gut. They're showing me the hangman. And it's like, you really do understand. You're making significant connections between decisions you've made in the past. Even if it felt like you ended up making the wrong one, you knew you learned something valuable from that. And I think you'll make decisions um, maybe even a little bit differently now because 
you, you'll know better prior to instead of after the fact. And then not for you. You know what's not for you anymore. This Today again, the 6th. Something about today is going to be significant for a lot of you. And then we have never-ending story. This is what you're closing out, that never-ending story that you feel like. Feelings of abandonment, lack of self-worth, if there, there has been. We all go through it. You could be 37, born on the 3rd, the 7th, or the 10th of the month. This is what's coming to an end. Some area of your life where it felt like you were constantly going through the same experience, it's definitely coming to an end in the month of December. So you're going to be working or working through and starting new come this new year. Through Sagittarius season, you're going to really put a lot of this behind you and just move forward. All right, my loves, those were your messages. Thank you so, so much for being here. I so appreciate you. If you haven't already, please hit that like button. Hope you guys have an amazing month and I will see you in the next one. Lots of love. Take care.